Hi everyone, so I'm here today with Kathy Abuso, who is President and CEO of the Sustainable Forestry Initiative. Um, and Kathy has joined us today for the CGF CEO interview series. Hi Kathy, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you doing, Lee? Uh, I'm very good, thank you. Enjoying the rain in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, so a nice easy question to start with. Um, why are you a member of the Consumer Goods Forum? Well, as the head of a forest focus uh, organization, it's uh, easy to rationalize why we're members of the Consumer Goods Forum that set an ambitious goal of um, zero deforestation. Uh, we like bold commitments um, and we also like um, to partner in achieving goals. And, um, and so we're very interested in meeting with executives uh, uh, in the supply chain that are trying to advance sustainability and figure out how we can partner um, to move forward. We're thrilled with the Forest Positive Initiative and feel that that aligns well with our mission, which is to advance sustainability through forest-focused collaborations. We're really looking forward to working with CGF members and the Forest Positive Coalition. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, so you, you mentioned the Forest Positive Coalition there. Um, but how can the CGF help drive positive change in global forests? Well, I think um, part of the uh, ability to drive positive change in global forests um, uh, is, is obviously forest certification. And certainly uh, we're endorsed by uh, PFC and there are multiple forest certifications out there that can assist. I think that that uh, that plays a critical role and we're learning just as CGF is learning about how to continually improve, use technology and use the input of civil society and experts in our standards development. Um, and I think that the CGF can also in, um, have more success if they're very focused on the risks in their supply chain and, uh, and identifying those risks, working with suppliers as partners and and um, and working pre-competitively as well. So there's a lot that we've learned over 25 years of existence. It's our 25 year anniversary that we believe is pre-competitive. And uh, we're very happy to share our knowledge on 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 how to go there with um, CGF executives. OK, thank you. Um, so you mentioned collaboration, but is collaboration as important as people say it is? And if it is, what's stopping companies? Collaboration is critical. It is the only way that we're going to solve for addressing climate change, for species recovery, for responsible supply chains, for circular economy, for water quality and, and water quantity. It is only through collaboration. Certification is a tool to help you get there, but there is so many more aspects that need to be explored. And we have a new strategic direction and our mission is to advance sustainability through forest focused collaboration. We are setting up a wide variety of initiatives to measure and understand the water quality species maintained and um, climate smart forestry practices so that we can integrate those into our standard revisions, but also set up different initiatives for different supply chains. And we wanna collaborate with Consumer Goods Forum and others to look at radical transparency in the supply chain in a few pilots so that we can better understand what are the risks, but also what are the rewards in a specific supply chain? What are the, your partners doing when it comes to species recovery? Or what are they doing to ensure best management practices for water quality? Or how are they engaging in climate smart forestry? And what does that mean for the product that you're buying and you're selling to consumers? At SFI, we know that over 50% of consumers know our label and of those over 90 percent trust our label we've built that trust through civil society through collaboration on conservation on community engagement with indigenous peoples and through environmental education and we're working again in that spirit of collaboration relationship building with over 120 indigenous peoples and uh, a community indigenous peoples communities uh, and um and we're working with them in a wide variety of ways, understanding their traditional knowledge, their ecological knowledge, also providing them access to the supply chain, also creating a standard that's specifically relevant to indigenous communities um, and, um, and, and, and how they manage for their forests and respecting uh, their ways of knowing. 
And so I think that, again, as SFI, we've evolved to look at um, relationship building between our certified organizations and Indigenous communities, but we've also evolved in terms of developing standards and requirements that are more meaningful for Indigenous communities. Okay, thank you. Um, so you mentioned there that SFI is 25 years old, um, and your aim is obviously to increase the supply of certified forest products, um, but how is that going? It's going great, actually. Um, SFI is uh, has been growing year over year over year um, with 370 million acres certified to our standard from Canada's boreal to the U.S. South. And then we export to over um, the certified organizations, export to over 120 different countries around the world, which is why our partnership with PFC, who endorses us, is so critical. But it's also going really well, not just because of the numbers of acres. In fact, in our previous strategic direction, we wanted to focus on what's behind the check mark. So what does that mean? We know it's third party certified, but what's actually going on with best management practices for water quality and quantity, species maintenance and recovery, and climate change and carbon storage? Okay, thank you. Um, so it is 2020. Um, obviously, 2020 saw several deforestation commitments and, you know, the, the discussion around whether or not they came up short and what the, the reasons for that were. But what do you think the main challenges have been? Well, first of all, um, this goes back to your first question, why CGF? Look, it was an ambitious goal. And I don't think we have to beat ourselves up about not achieving ambitious goal. Of course, we would like to have achieved that goal and have played an important role in assisting in that achievement. But um, it's, it involves the entire supply chain and it involves multiple supply chains. And so I think as long as we learn from that goal um, and we're setting new goals, that's important. And, and again, as long as we learn from that. And so I'm hoping that, um, well, I think there's been a learning because it's not just zero deforestation, which is critical to addressing climate change and greenhouse gases. But one of the reasons that I did a TEDx talk when CGF first started called the power of sustainably managed forest was it's a critical need that we need to address, but we need forest restoration. We need sustainable forest management because then a world of good can be done through that for communities, for conservation, for supply chains and the circular economy. And so we, we stand ready to work with um, Consumer Good Forums members and uh, Forest Positive Coalition members in a collaborative fashion to learn from our 25 years experience. Um, so 2020 will also no doubt be remembered for COVID-19. Um, so beyond um, the, the, the post-COVID recovery, um, which I'm sure every organization is, is hoping for, what would you like to see in 2021? Well, there's a lot I'd like to see. I, I, I'd like to see a long-term investment in, um, in forests and in forest knowledge. And that means an investment in our education programs as well, which help build global awareness of the role of forests for our quality of life, for addressing climate change, for addressing sustainability challenges, for sustainable communities. Um, the role of forests in clean water, um, in uh, addressing poverty, in species recovery and carbon storage. And SFI took on a, uh, an environmental education program called Project Learning Tree a few years ago. We took it on because we feel that the next generation and this generation, the more they value these forests, that, you know, that we are going to have employees in, in corporations like our members of the Consumer Goods Forum that have awareness on this. And we're investing in career pathways as well that look at the wide variety of careers in forests, hydrologists, biologists, ecologists, supply chain experts, circular economy experts, carbon modelers, et cetera. And we're building this into the curriculum from kindergarten through to high school and also working with universities. And we think the next generation of employees in, this, in these corporations that are trying to address sustainability issues have to have a sound knowledge of forests and how they interface with food systems as well and food security. And all of this is addressed through um, Project Learning Tree. There's many, which is a global education program, but there are many um, education programs. And I think we need some of these short-term goals like we've had, 
but we need some long-term planning for the future as well. And investing in societal education programs is an important role. Okay. So that's what I hope happens. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good to me. Um, So thank you, Kathy. Uh, It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Appreciate your time. So thank you very much. Thank you, Lee.